Hello there, ladies and gents. It's me, Celtic the Casual, and today we are going to be doing another episode of How to Play. Today, I will be giving you my opinion on how to both play and build the new god, Cenarus. Cenarus? I don't know. I really don't know how to say his name. As always, let's start by going over his abilities. His passive is a cleave, so he throws, like he is a hunter, so he throws a long-range projectile, but he also has a melee cleave, so this increases his ability to clear jungle camps because he hits everything up close to him for, I believe, a third of his total attack power. Next, let's move on to his first ability. It has four phases. First phase has additional lifesteal, Second phase has additional attack power that scales for 20% of your physical power. His third is a protection debuff, and then the fourth phase of this first ability is a 15% slow. His second ability shoots a target like a line out in front of him. The first thing it hits, it explodes, roots, and deals damage. This damage scales with 75% of your physical power and it also does damage over time in the area. His third ability is a charge, so he charges forward, anything he hits gets dealt for major damage, and this damage scales for 80% of your physical power. His fourth ability, is so his ultimate, is he summons this giant circle, okay? And after a second this giant circle explodes and transforms everything in that circle into a pig. So it's a polymorph, like in World of Warcraft. This polymorph persists for two seconds, and this ability scales for 90% of your physical power. So that's what his abilities do. Now let's talk about what you should be trying to do as the new god. Now, I do see a lot of potential for this guy in a conquest scenario to be our first long-ranged jungler. It, could, it is feasible with his passive. Now, he does have great burst opportunity because all of his abilities scale really well. But I do see him being most prominent in the hunter role. He has great clear. If you pair him with bluestone, he can clear fairly well really early. And then he has major teamfight impact with both his ultimate and again that root. But I also haven't been able to try him in Conquest yet to test how he will do as a ranged assassin, because every single time I queue it, someone takes it from me and just insta-locks, and it's lots of fun. So, we'll see where that goes. Like I had said before, he has great potential to clear jungle camps incredibly efficiently because of his passive, and I'm curious to see what will happen and what will come out of that. Now let's dive into the fun part. What should you be building on this guy? Now, I've tried out a couple of different builds. I've been playing him mostly in the hunter role because, again, I can't get this guy in conquest. No one seems to let me. But I'm going to put this up on screen, and then I'm going to explain my reasoning for each item because it is not a normal build at all. So, right off the bat, you're going to notice that I like to start the game with Blue Stone and Boots 1. That's a standard start. He has great poke with his second ability. It's a great clearing move. The Blue Stone only facilitates that. Then I'm going to go finish off my Boots, Warrior Tabai, because of course his, he has insane scaling. Then I go into Odysseus Bow. My reason for going into Oboe is because with the recent nerf to Fatalis, it's not as viable, and this gives you all the attack speed that you're really going to need. It gives 40% attack speed and has a really unique passive where every fourth hit causes a Zeus Chain Lightning. It's a very good item. With the nerf to Fatalis, I think I'll be picking this item up a lot more. Then I go and pick up Jotun's Wrath for the, attack, for the uh, base power and the CDR because the more I can throw out that root and that ultimate, the better off I'm going to be. Then I go into Titan's Bane for pen, and again, some more physical power. This build makes your autos hit really hard against squishier targets, and then the pen helps against the tankier ones. Keep in mind, with your one, you can also switch to the third proc on it so that it reduces the enemy's protections. This helps, again, slay the tanks. But 
this is the build I have been going with. You'll notice that I don't have a fifth and sixth item. That's because I haven't decided what I want to build. It's, that's where you can go when you can flex. If you want to build into crit, you could build into crit. If you want to build into some more attack speed, some more pen, those last two items are going to be flex choices for you. So, to quickly summarize, I've been playing this guy as a traditional hunter, but he could do well in the jungle. Build a lot of attack power and oboe so that you have attack speed, as that's the best way I've found to build this guy to this point. It's really fun, too. Now, that's all the time I have for this video. If you enjoyed watching today, leave a like on the video. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, this is Celtic the Casual, signing off.